Pima Sheriff's deputies, firefighters, and emergency medical specialists are preparing to cope with chaos and killing. This day, the building that was home to the Hohoka Middle School is home to a series of critical life-saving drills. We need control. No, control. Hang right, right. tight. Their tactics are changing. There was a time when law enforcement held back emergency medical help until a shooter was dead or safely under arrest. But people could die of their wounds while they waited. Now some deputies work to take out the shooter, while others protect medical responders working to keep the wounded alive. We're calling it the warm zone, our immediate threat area. We call our hot zone. So we're going into an indirect area to start initiating care and either doing care and moving on or we're actually getting our uh, casualties and moving them out so they can uh, receive further care or transport to the hospital. Drexel Heights Fire District is training here, along with Pima Sheriff's deputies and responders from the Pasquayaki Fire Department. Volunteers are leading the training. An organization called IC Save brings together active duty and retired emergency response experts to share their life-saving know-how at no charge. Usually uh, there are companies that do charge for stuff like this and so this idea of people coming together seeing a need that if we uh, volunteer our time and we um, work with community agencies as well as community partners then we can actually improve the safety and the survivability of particularly like today active shooter events. And that could help anyone be ready to help themselves and help others when someone tries to spread as much hurt as they can. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. As we said, IC Save does offer free training to anyone who asks for it. You can find contact information on our website, kgun9.com.